During World War II, Germany was known for the sophistication and innovation of its engineers, who created a variety of combat vehicles that changed the face of warfare, including powerful tanks, effective anti-tank weapons, and impressive fighter planes. However, after Germany surrendered in May 1945, Allied forces took over all these military vehicles. Among the many strong, resilient, and innovative combat vehicles, there was one tank that stood out due to its unusual shape, making it distinctly different from all other vehicles of the time. The Kugelpanzer, or ball tank from Germany, is one of the most mysterious armored vehicles in World War II history. Various stories surround its origins. Some say it was discovered in Manchuria by Soviet troops, while others claim it was found at the Kummersdorf military facility alongside the super heavy mouse tank. Unfortunately, records and information about the Kugelpanzer are very limited, leading many to remain unaware of when this tank was actually made, its primary purpose, or even what was inside it. Some speculate that the tank was designed as a cable layer, artillery scout, or reconnaissance vehicle. However, others suspect that the Kugelpanzer was a pre-war design for an infantry support weapon that could traverse open terrain more efficiently, similar to the lighter and faster tumbleweed tank design. This vehicle might have been intended to provide machine gun fire support while moving alongside infantry troops. To this day, it is believed that the factory that produced this tank was Krupp. In the 1940s, this tank was sent to Japan as part of the technology cooperation between Germany and Japan. However, in 1945, Soviet troops successfully captured the Kugelpanzer in Manchuria. Observing its design, this tank was intended to be operated by a single person. Nevertheless, the vehicle was not meant for direct assault, as its armor was extremely thin, measuring only 5 mm. With such thin armor, the Kugelpanzer could only withstand small caliber gunfire, and if hit by an anti-tank rifle, it would be easily destroyed. The weapon it might have carried could be an MG-34 or MG-42 machine gun, or perhaps a Type 96 machine gun if it was used by the Japanese. In terms of dimensions, the Kugelpanzer weighs 1.8 tons, is 1.7 meters long, and 1.5 meters high. Powered by a single-cylinder two-stroke engine producing 25 horsepower, this vehicle can achieve a maximum speed of just 8 km per hour. The small wheel located at the rear of the Kugelpanzer tank serves to help steer the vehicle and maintain stability while moving. This wheel is crucial for controlling the vehicle, making it easier for the driver to turn efficiently. However, there is no evidence that the Kugelpanzer was ever involved in any significant battles. Its unusual design, limited protection, and lack of weaponry suggest that this tank may not have succeeded in its intended role. Currently. The Kugelpanzer is housed at the Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia, and its unique ball-shaped design makes it stand out among other combat vehicles. Although this depiction is not common, there are many signs that suggest a possibility of a hoax related to the Kugelpanzer. As a result, this vehicle is often referred to as Hoax Panzer, indicating that many indications suggest that the Kugelpanzer may be a product of engineering or a joke rather than a serious combat vehicle. The lack of documentation supporting its existence leads to the assumption that the Kugelpanzer might have been a creation by Soviet engineers after the war, or perhaps a project with no clear military purpose.